Beautiful, don't you think? What? The sunrise. We wanted to do a film about adversities. It's, I think, a story about what makes us try when there's nothing left to try for. All the adversities are just nothing but a metaphor for the adversities that we all have in our everyday life. Through the journey that Ryan goes on, she ultimately makes the decision to choose life. In the writing process, we knew that we wanted to express the themes not in a rhetoric way, but through visual metaphors. The possibility of rebirth as an outcome of adversities. And Earth as that constant presence, reminding us of where we come from and where human connection is, where life is. We imagine this image of an astronaut floating into the void. It is metaphorically relevant to how part of life is trying to fight the inertia of where you're drifting. The first reason you ever want to make a film is that the script is very good and the director is very good. I love the screenplay, and I think that Alfonso is one of the most talented directors in the game. When you're writing, you're not thinking how you're going to make it happen. I have to say that I thought it was going to be much simpler. It was not until early on that we realized that we will need to create something new. Cut. Very good. When Jonas and I finished the screenplay, the first person I sent the screenplay to was Emmanuel Lubezki, the cinematographer. This is a good angle. One of the things I love about the cinematography is it never feels precious. There's real naturalism. You know, there are flares and there are mistakes, as it were, but no mistakes. It's all created. <laughs> Alfonso has designed it around these extremely long shots, these very fluid 12-minute, 5-minute or 3-minute long shots. It took a while to work out the best technique to do it. Tim and Chivo developed this technology in which the actors are inside a cube of light. The three main elements of the light box are the robot moving the camera, the light box moving the lights, and the tilt rig moving the actor. If what we're trying to simulate is Ryan tumbling into the shuttle, we tilt Sandra backwards and forwards to help it. And at the same time, all the lights are spinning around in sync with this complicated motion. I mean, it was literally like these rigs had your life in their hands. If something broke, I had nothing to hold on to. If some camera came crashing through my face, nothing I could do, you just say goodbye. Sandra has this dancer background, so she took this approach of prepping herself for a very complicated choreography. She trained like crazy for five months so that she could work with those rigs without conveying the tension of the rigs. So in the moment of the performance is just pure expression. Whether it was the cage or whatever rigging system they had, you just embraced the pain because these were all unique creations of brilliant people who had to think of something that doesn't exist in order to make a movie Alfonso was told couldn't be done. Explorer, do you copy? Explorer, permission to retrieve Dr. Stone. The technology was never the motivation for making the film. We wanted to tell a story, and it was about developing the technology that was the only way that this story could be told. This film has raised the bar for the world of visual effects and CG and animation. The visual approach of the film, the camera is always moving. There's no up and there's no down, there's no right, there's no left. So we decided that the music and sound effects have to also be moving around. We were keen to make something that, that suited the film in that, that it's shot unlike anything I've ever seen. So it's a case of working out how can we do something that feels totally suitable for this film without using the, the normal tricks. It's not just about sound. Once you've got these elements, it's about how will you tell the story with them. So we decided that we would do it through touch. <gasps> Break, you have to break! I can't! We're gonna hit hard! What do I do? Grab a hole! <laughs> Grab anything! <laughs> Cut! We need another. We need another. Can you do another one? Yeah. Let's do that. This production was very physically demanding. The challenge was how to make that scene free and spontaneous. And that's a testament of the amazing actors that Sandra and George are. This, you just lay yourself in the hands of the smartest guys in the room. 
Alfonso has given us beautiful, elegant filmmaking. Simple on the surface. The complexity challenged everybody, but none of that is visible. It's great.